today, and today we're going to have a game of Sonic Boom on the Atari ST. No, I'm not. No, it's not the Atari. Sorry, Commodore Amiga. Um, yeah. Right. Okay. So player two. Right. So. Okay. Well, let's keep it as it is. Um, F1. One player. Oh, two players. I think that's turn-based, not simultaneously. Because that was like the arcade version. Right. Okay. Can we define the keys? Let's start the game. Okay, yeah, as I said, this is a arcade game. Conversion. There we go. Hmm. So, this being an early title for the Commodore Amiga, it's blatantly Atari ST port. Right. Oh, for fuck's sake. Right, did that start again? Is this quite faithful to the arcade version where it starts the entire level again? Or is it like the 8-bit versions that I've played so far, you just continue where you get shot? We'll soon find out. No. See, it puts you back like the arcade version, so it's checkpoint based. You push enter, you use a smart bomb, you've got three smart bombs. Now, I hate to imagine how much this would have cost back in the day, because it's an arcade conversion. And I was quite late to the Amiga. I got my first Amiga in 92, so I didn't have this back in the day. So that's a power-up, so... Right, so I've got my two assistants here. So now we see a bar. So that bar is represented because we got that's an energy bar for this aircraft carrier there. The shots. Oh fuck! I've lost a life now. Oh, you get continues in this version, like the CP the CPC version, so it is checkpoint based, like the arcade version. I'll definitely, oh fucking hell, I was just about to say, I'll definitely say it's definitely, well, I don't know about definitely, it's more easier to play than, um, Commodore 64 version. Maybe because this is a notorious T port. It's a little it runs a little bit slower on the Amiga. Maybe that's more of an advantage if anything. I'm only assuming it's a notorious T port. I wouldn't be surprised. We know what these games were like back in the day, then they, they always met a deadline. But then again, I'll say that the CPC version was not a, C, a Spectrum pool. Fuck's sake! Yeah, we'll continue. So, yeah, I'd say this is more accurate to the arcade. Mm. 
which I think, well, it's a bad thing really, because I'd much rather have it like the CPC version where you continue when you lose a life. I mean, yeah, people like the the arcade um, correctness, I would say. But me, you're not playing it on the arcade, so why can't we just have a few things different, like continuing where you die? You know, arcade games were designed to be hard, so it takes your money. With these games, you're just making a single payment, and then you've got the game at home to play as much as you like. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm not going to get past this aircraft carrier. I did on the CPC. Well, the shots, you know, the enemy fire is pretty slow, so. Oh! No, I just. Oh, fuck it! Three credits left. Power up, get up. Oh, that was close. I should, should use my other weapon. Oh, it's enter on this. Oh, bollocks! Because I took my hand off this controller. Push enter. I think, I don't know actually, could this version be a two player simultaneous, this one, I don't know. You know this version's, it's okay, you know, it's certainly playable. Fucking hell. Music's a little bit tedious. Oh, ah, oh, that was close, that was close. Fuck it. Right, two credits left. Well, you can hold your fire button down, but uh, it ain't so rapid. Oh, what's that? Power up. Oh, I ain't got done nothing. So these planes keep reappearing. And I've got fucking blown up again. Ah, oh, this is getting on my nerves now. It's definitely oh, fucking hell. Definitely seems achievable because it's it's quite slow paced. Ah, 
Oh, fuck it! Last credit. Yeah, this music's starting to do my head in now. It's the same old bullshit, but at least you have that option to turn it off. I think there was in the menu. Yeah, if someone has played this game before, is it a two-player simultaneous game or is it turn-based? Fuck's sake! God, I'm getting a bit pissed off with it now. Ah, oh, what? That's hardly anything, no smart bombs. Sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to see the planes and the fire out of that aircraft carriage as the colours seem to be all grey and white so it's really hard to, difficult to pinpoint but then again it is military colours and that's what the idea of it is really to be hard to spot even in real life oh fucking hell <sighs> well, at least you get to type in your name. Well, that's another bonus. Uh, it's okay. It's not too bad. But then again, I have played better on the Amiga or Atari ST. Yes, I, I would definitely go to say it's an Atari ST port. 1987 this came out or was that on the I know it came out in the arcades in 1987 this, when did it actually got a conversion to the Amiga it must have been probably 87 88 so I think by that sort of time he was getting Atari ST ports yeah it's not exactly showing off the Amiga's capabilities is it but there you go deadlines I guess anyway going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time and goodbye.